you know, I think it's time that um, the, the citizens of Cameroon Republic, uh, the citizens of France, and also the citizens of Ambazonia understand what colonization really means. How dangerous colonization is. And in order to understand that, I think they need to go into the root of what this whole idea of colonization, how it came about, mm -hmm. and how it is absolutely unfortunate and sad that in this day and age, you have a black face in the presence of Paul B and a few other people that came around the continent that carry out this project of colonization on behalf of the French. Okay? And if you want, I don't want us to go into a long disquisition about the roots of colonization. No, I think you should because because it is it is it is strange that people should leave their country, come into some other person's country, start and start doing these things. And when 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 we th when we thought when FDR in 1941 in the Atlantic in the Atlantic Charter said colonization must end. Then they mutated into something else, and the French did not do it hidingly. They mutated into something and keep doing the same thing. What gives right to somebody to leave France, goes to Africa, into people's land? In fact, let me, let me, I have a quote that I want to read to you, okay? Uh, what makes somebody, right? What makes somebody say Africa must not be for us a, 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 a trading post as India is? No, merely uh, a camp and a training field for our army, even less an experimental area for our philanthropists. It is a French land which should be uh, populated, owned, and cultivated as soon as possible by French people. If we want, here, here, here's, here, here's a, a catcher. It says, if we want it one day, to weigh in our favor in the arrangement of human affairs. That's that's a quote from I think his name is Prevor Paradoil. This is a Frenchman. I think he was a publicist. This is a Frenchman expressing the sentiments of France about Africa. What what makes people think they can go into other people's land and do that? Okay, we just talked about colonization and its roots, right? Colonization is basically about who has been called by God to exercise stewardship over lands, especially colonized lands. Mm. That is what that gentleman is expressing. Who has been called by God to exercise stewardship over lands and especially co co uh, colonized lands. Okay, that is the essence of a doctrine called the doctrine of discovery, right? Okay. We're not going to go deep into that, but I just think we should frame it in such a way that we understand the present characteristics of colonization, the background, mm -hmm. and because the doctrine of discovery, what it did was that it provided the spiritual, political, and legal justification of colonization. Right? What does the doctrine say? Well, let us start with Genesis 1, verse 1, verse, uh, chapter 1, verse 26. Then God said, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals and all the creatures that move along the ground. Right? Yes, yeah, that, that's a Bible verse. Yes. What they had conceived was that the man, the mankind that God had created in his image mm -hmm. was white, was male, and some people say able-bodied. That is everything which was not white, male, and able-bodied was not a part of that mankind to govern over the earth. So that Bible voice is not speaking to all of us. It's, it's speaking to us, a, a very specific people. To a group of people that people that philosophers and the Catholic Church at the time described as this is what God has created in His image. You and I were not created in God's image. We're not different from the animals, the fishes, the birds, and the fowl.
Wait, let me ask you a quick question. When you read that verse in Africa, or when they read it to you, were you thinking of some white guy? No, I was thinking that I was part of that mankind. No, we, we thought where they, it was about us, isn't it? Yeah, but what they had... And doesn't... Let me just... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I have to... Doesn't somebody reading that verse in Asia or in South America think the same? Because, because they are humans, and this verse is being read to them. They see... And so... I guess the point here is that every human being, quote, I have to put it in quote now because we're not humans, right? So continue, please. I, I think I think you should explain that really well. So you see, we see it coming from the Bible, and the Catholic Church was very instrumental. There were numerous papal bulls or papal decrees that, when the Europeans sent explorers on the behalf of uh, monarchical kings and authorities to go and discover new land, mm -hmm. the assumption was that if you go into that land, if it's quote-unquote unoccupied by a Christian male, you've discovered that land and it's your land. No, not the assumption. They were told. They were told. Yeah. That when you go there, mm -hmm. and if the people were not Christians, mm -hmm. uh, first of all, colonize the land, and if the people were not Christians, mm -hmm. I think they even talked about enslaving them, didn't yes, they? Yes, uh, you enslave them. And so that is, that is everything about what we're experiencing in Ambazonia, in Africa, and in other parts of the global south, as people like to say, percolates from that doctrine. It accounts for dehumanization, it accounts for mass murder, it accounts for, get this, forced assimilation. Remember your friend Paul Bea talking about trying to assimilate the Ambazonian people? Yes, yes. So, this, so it is something which I think is very, very tragic and us as Africans cannot be playing the role that the Cameroonese, that the likes of Paul Beer, are playing on behalf of the white man, the French especially. And it's something that we definitely need to bring is as, as we go out to engage you know, with the uh, good and fair-minded people of these Western nations to try to educate them a little bit about why they need to review some of these policies that have been in place for 50, 60 years that continue to perpetuate the type of injustice and destruction that we've seen in, 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 in the part of the world that we come from.